I'm going to show you how you could implement a graph in VB.NET. Unlike stacks and queues and linked lists, .NET doesn't come with a built-in graph class, probably because there are so many different applications that might each require a slightly different approach. So I'll show you one way you could code up a graph class, making use of an adjacency matrix to describe its connectivity. Later, I'll show you some things we can do with the graph, such as traversing its vertices or finding the shortest path from one vertex to another. To begin with, I've written a vertex class, which will be used by the graph class. It has two properties, which I've defined simply with public variables rather than property procedures. One I've called value, which will hold the payload of the vertex, such as a city name or a web page name, depending on the application. I could, of course, have several properties like this to increase the payload of each vertex. I have another property by the name of visited. This will be used later when I want to traverse and search the graph. My vertex class has a constructor which sets default values for these properties when the vertex object is created. The graph class declares a one-dimensional array to store the vertex objects and a 2D array which is an adjacency matrix that will store information about the edges. Both arrays are dimensioned when the graph object is created, according to the constant total vertices. You can see that the graph constructor scans the adjacency matrix as 2D array, initializing all of the edges to zero. I number of vertices is used by the add vertex method. When called, add vertex creates a new vertex object and adds it to the vertex array at a position given by I number of vertices. You can see that this counter is incremented every time we add a new vertex. This method is also passed the payload of the vertex when it's called. When called, the add edge method is passed the starting vertex and the ending vertex of an edge, and these are used to place a value inside the adjacency matrix. In this case, we place the weight of the edge at the correct position in the array. For an unweighted graph, we could simply assign a 1 at the correct position in the matrix. I have a method called showVertex, which will output the payload of a vertex when given the vertex's index number, and a function called get adjacency matrix, which will simply return the 2D array. Show vertex and get adjacency matrix will be used later. So here's how I'm using the graph. My form instantiates a new graph object. Then from a button on the form, I'm calling add vertex and add edge successively to establish the structure of the graph. Give this a go and I'll show you what you can do with it later.